Shippensburg coming off a disappointing loss to Westchester, taking on the number three Huskies. Early in the second quarter, Shippensburg up 3-0, but Franklin Quiete takes the ball to the right, untouched for an 18-yard touchdown run. That put Bloomsburg up 7-3 early in the second quarter. On the next drive, quarterback Zach Zully rolls to the left and finds one of his friendly targets, Brian Barley, for a 23-yard catch to the Bloomsburg 32. One of the key highlights of the first half. Going into halftime, Shippensburg only down by four. In the third quarter, Shippensburg able to get a 12-7 lead, but it's Pat Carey for Bloomsburg who finds his receiver Ryan Dickerson streaking down the field for a 54-yard touchdown pass to give the Huskies a two-point lead. But the big momentum shifter happening early in the fourth quarter. What looked like a punt for Bloomsburg has Matt Cox taking it for a fake, rumbling down the field to the Shippensburg 12-yard line for 61 yards. A big play in this game. And three plays later, it will result in Carey hitting another wide receiver, Mike Marchione, number 82, the big man in the back of the end zone from six yards out to add insurance to that lead as Bloomsburg went up by nine. Bloomsburg's offense still at full steam. And Mike Marchione has another grab for 35 yards out and another Bloomsburg touchdown. Ship went out a late score, but fall to the Huskies, 38-18. Start off with the Red Raider football team was back in action at Seth Grove Stadium following a three-game road trip this past Saturday. A trip in which they won two of three and outscored their previous two opponents 89 to 20. So would it be another big day for the Shippensburg offense? Shippensburg finally home to take on the East Stroudsburg Warriors. In the first quarter, Zach Zully finds Tamer Harris from seven yards out as Shippensburg goes up seven to nothing. Zully setting the record for most touchdown passes in the regular season. Later in the first, Zach Zully will take it himself on the quarterback draw to the left and is just able to get past the goal line, making it 17-0 Shippensburg. Zully had 346 yards of total offense himself in this game. Meanwhile, backup quarterback Nate Daniels was hounded by the Shippensburg defense for the short time he was in the game as he gets hounded by Brian Sorber who sacks him. And Daniels would be down and he would be done for the day. Schiff continued to pound it offensively in the first half as Zach Zully finds Brian Barley from five yards out. Shippensburg goes up 24-0. The Red Raiders would have 31 points in the first half alone. Rashawn McCain comes into the game, and he is in on a stand-up run from eight yards out, and that would be all. Shippensburg wins this game 44-14, 621 total yards of offense for the Red Raiders. Lindsey Barna caught up with Coach Mack to talk about the game. I'm real proud of the defense. They came out ready to play today, and, uh, you know, this is a pretty good offense we face today. So I'm really proud of them. And, uh, again, our offense did a good job coming out, and, uh, you know, we had some uh, plays that uh, were called back and scores, but I'll take this score any day. You know, it's, it's win number six. It's a winning season, and uh, I'm very proud of those kids. The Red Raiders entering senior day looking to finish the season on a four-game winning streak as they played host to the Mercyhurst Lakers. On the opening kickoff of the game, Mercyhurst, Trevor Kennedy returning the kickoff. He'll fumble the ball at the 22-yard line as it's forced by Sean Sadowski, and Rashawn McCain would make the recovery at the 30-yard line. But Shippensburg would be held to a field goal on that drive, but 3-0 Shippensburg to start the game. On the Lakers' first offensive drive, Vendamia is able to find Richie Sanders with the pass, and Sanders takes it in from 9 yards out as the Mercyhurst Lakers take a 6-3 lead. The PAT was missed. Later in the second quarter, game tied at six. Zach Zully taking the snap, takes a five-step drop and looks down the middle and he finds Trevor Harmon in the end zone from 19 yards out. One of the more impressive catches we've seen by Harmon this season. Ship goes up 13 to seven. On the kickoff return, Trevor Kennedy after fumbling the first opening kickoff, he will get past midfield and almost beats everybody on the Shippensburg kickoff team as he gets down to the Shippensburg four yard line, a 79 yard return, and that would set up a touchdown for Mercyhurst. From two yards out, Richie Sanders takes it in for a touchdown, making the game 13-13, and that is the way it would be going into the half. In the third quarter after Shippensburg's defense held Mercyhurst to a field goal, Mike Fournette will take the ball on the run to the left, then to the middle, and then all the way to the other side of the field as he's able to avoid a tackler, and he is going to go all the way to the end zone, breaking the pile on for a touchdown, a 53-yard run, and that would give Shippensburg a 20-16 lead. It would be the big offensive plays that helped Shippensburg win this game against Mercyhurst. 
Later in the third, Zach Zulli, who's been able to find so many targets, finds Harmon down the middle of the field, and he will take it in for a 64-yard touchdown reception, giving Shippensburg an 11-point lead. The Red Raiders would add two more touchdowns and win the game 40-16. to The Red Raiders have set the team record for most points. Lindsey Barna had a few words with the first-year winning coach. It was your first season as a head coach of Shippensburg, and you finished with a winning season. How do you feel? You have to be proud of these guys. I'm, I'm very proud of the players. Proud of the players, the band, and the fans. But uh, it, this is, like I've said before, this is a group effort between the coaches, the players, the administration, the university and whole, the community. Everybody has a part in this, so everybody had a winning season this year.